Welcome to the FT602 Chip Configuration Programmer video. First, you must download the application. You can do this from the FTDI website if you navigate towards the FT602 product page and scroll to the bottom and click on the FT602 software examples. Once on this page, navigate to the bottom and click on the utility link underneath configuration utility. An FT602 configurations programmer folder should now be available. Next you must unpack the application and install the Win USB driver. Once you have unpacked, click on the configuration tools folder and you will find a 602 Win USB installation executable. Double click on this to run the Win USB installer and follow the on-screen prompts. The Win USB driver should have successfully installed. To run the application for the first time, double click on the FT602 chip configuration probe executable. Note you may be told that the FT602.dll is missing. If so, please check that the DLL is in the same folder as the executable. When connecting to a UMFT602 module, ensure the module is connected to your computer and open the chip configuration utility. Once open, click on the reconfiguration button on the bottom right of the utility. Below this, a revision number should appear, otherwise a device communication error will appear. Please check your connections and try again. To write any changes to your device, simply click the write configuration button to the bottom right of the application. As an example, I'm changing the FIFO clock and writing the configuration. If I now change the FIFO clock from what is on the board and do a read configuration, you will see that it reverts back to what is programmed into the board. Depending on which FIFO mode is selected determines the tabs you have available to choose from. When changing to and from the FIFO modes or channel config, then you automatically get a buffer settings window. You can make changes or press OK or cancel to close this window. The buffer settings window also appears when you make a change to the burst buffer or FIFO buffer settings of a particular FIFO channel. Please note the total buffer size must be 16K, otherwise the tool will not let you program the configuration changes and you will encounter the following error. Each FIFO channel tab allows you to set some channel specific settings like the channel description, the burst buffer and the FIFO buffer. If you press the switch to advanced mode button you will gain some extra tabs for configuring the UVC terminal and processing controls namely controls, camera settings config and processing unit config. You will note that the read and write configuration buttons are available at the bottom right of the application regardless of which tab you are on. For further information on using the configuration utility, we have an application note which is available from the FT602 product page. Please click on the AN435 link to open the guide. 